Hey everybody, Spencer Adkins. It's the Weather Blender blog. It is the 24th of January. It's Sunday, Sunday night in particular here as we post this one. Let's jump right to it, shall we? We do have some concerns for high water. We actually have a couple of flash flood watches, as we can see here. Borrowed this map from our friends of the National Weather Service. Compliments of your tax dollars. And you can see that we have all these counties in the high terrain that could pick up substantial amount of rain. One to two inches of rain could be seen here on ground that's already soaked. So flooding is a possibility during the overnight and even into the early morning hours. The kind of gold shaded counties, well, those are high wind warning areas. Again, some of the higher peaks could pick up some 30, 40 mile hour wind gusts. Green light shaded counties in eastern Kentucky, that represents the chance for flooding to continue over small streams and creeks. That's an advisory for some flooding thanks to the continual rains and all the real light shade again around Huntington, Charleston. That is uh, actually nothing at this point. All right, jumping out to Monday morning. Once again, we see colder air represented by the blue solid line. That would be uh, the first one. It's a zero that's just creeping into the Huntington area. This is at about 7 in the morning. That one is uh, the freezing mark, actually. We're talking Celsius at 5,000 feet, so the colder air is pressing in. Just a few light scattered showers, but the cold air, the blue arrow there, that minus 10, that zone at 5,000 feet is pressing, and that'll get here a little bit later. Let's go out to 36 hours. Now the cold air continues to press toward us with very few showers, maybe a few spritzel sprinkles, changing into a few light snow showers, but the snow showers will pick up. Let's go out to 48 hours. Again, we're continuing our look at the weather model we call the NAM. Now I've changed over to dashed lines, which is thicknesses. And basically, all you need to know is if you're inside the blue dashed lines, inside 5,400 meters, the thickness between the surface, 1,000 millibars, and 500 millibars, about halfway up through the troposphere, that's where you're talking about the thicknesses that can support snow. Cold air is pretty dense, and uh, so it hugs the ground. You can see that blue air, I'm indicating the snow showers pivoting in out of the west again. The core of the cold air sitting just to the north of Wheeling. So this is going to be another time where we see snow showers Tuesday morning. Look here at our snowfall accumulation. Let's check out a couple of different models. Here's the first model. And this one is uh, the NAM, of course, out to 84 hours, taking us through Wednesday evening. And it thinks that we'll see something like uh, two to four inches of snow on the high terrain and barely even an inch, let's say, around the Charleston, Huntington, uh, Ashland, Ironton area. Again, looking at the other model we call the GFS, it's a little more stout in terms of snow in the mountains. It's more like four to six inches, as you can see, those deeper greens. But again, barely anything at all, maybe up to two around the Charleston area. So I'm going to say that one to two covers it for the Charleston area. Once again, jumping out to Saturday now because nothing really happens between now and then Saturday. A new storm begins to brew low pressure along the southeast coast. Looking at the model we call the GFS, and you see West Virginia is under those blue dashed lines. So that would be snow for southern West Virginia. Little contrast, same shape of the storm. Uh, look at the right panel here. This is first on the Canadian model. That's the thickness zone. I've outlined it in red. The blue is actually Arctic air. Look in the left panel, and you can see all the precipitation, the heavy stuff, is to the south of that line. So there's a disagreement. We're going to have to continue to watch those models as we go forward in time, which we will certainly do a possibility of snow again on Saturday. But snow looks likely, especially for the high train, a couple of inches occurring Monday night through Tuesday. So that's a quick look at the models for you, and that's what we look at as we forecast. So you'll be seeing that in our forecast on good old-fashioned TV. Catch us on over there on your favorite West Virginia media station.